This is it. I'm telling the truth. Um, I never really chose Juniata, and this is the story of how I really got here. I'm gonna get into so much trouble for posting this. I, I gave a tour today. That right there, that's the um, enrollment office. And every time I introduce myself and I tell my families that I'm from India, wait, did I forget to introduce myself? I'm Brohan. Well, you know the rest. But let me tell you anyway, my name is Rohan Bandekar and I'm a junior studying integrated media marketing. And after the summer, I had an opportunity to have my own show at Juniata and get to work with some of the most interesting people I have ever met. Then we had a dance party in the frozen aisle. Hey guys, my name is Claire. Doesn't it just whisper to you, speak to you, tell you mystical things? So I said yes, and this is The Brohan Show, a series of videos that take a deep dive a journey to the very feeling of Juniata. We're getting real with this one. But back to the main plot. So the question that I always get is, how did I end up here? How did I find out about this place? And why did I choose to come here? And my answer always is that I loved the POE program, the ability to combine my interests and kind of design my own degree. And I really do. I really love the POE program, but that's not the full story. See. See, for the full story, right, we need to go back to the year 2016, when I was just a junior in high school. Four years ago, almost to this day, I sat across from my high school counselor facing a gaping mouth of uncertainty as to what I was going to do with my life. I had no plans, I did not know what I was going to do after high school, while all my friends were applying to colleges and getting accepted. I knew what I wanted to do. I wanted to study business and design and video production and content creation and marketing and management. But every college I looked at, I was forced to choose one thing, to kind of fit into a category. I despised any box anyone tried to put me in, so I never applied. So I just waited. And then one day, when all the stars were aligned and the universe was ready to show me the way out, the light at the end of the tunnel, I had a dream in which an angel came to me and told me about this mystical place called Juniata. <laughs> oh, well, that did not happen. What happened though, was the silliest thing that could ever happen. I walked into an empty classroom and stumbled upon a flyer for a scholarship program that partnered with liberal arts colleges in the US. I was like, huh, why not? What's there to lose? I applied to that and got selected for the next round where I could choose to send my application to one of the partner colleges and then forgot about it until the very last day. So I just chose the first college I saw, which was Juniata. And I got invited to an interview. I was like, huh, why not? What's there to lose? Then I drove to Mumbai where I met Rob Yalnowski. Y'all know Rob. He seemed like a cool guy and offered me a scholarship program, accepting me to Juniata. I trusted him. Six months later, I got on a plane in Mumbai and landed in New York City, and then took a train to Huntington. Not entirely sure what I was doing with my life, but trusting in this place called Juniata and the people that make it. The first day I set foot on campus, I was enrolled. I knew one person. I was in a foreign country halfway around the world, in a culture that was entirely new to me. And trust me, I did not know what s'mores were. But, but here's the thing, right? Juniata is, is, one of the best things that ever happened to me. I have, I've had so much opportunity to do what I love doing. So my, my point is that sometimes the silliest things can, can lead to the most beautiful things in life. And I happened to be in the right place at the right time to find a flyer for the scholarship program. And it led me to this place where I am right now talking to you. You never know when the next big thing is gonna happen. All you gotta do is say, huh, why not? What's that to lose?